Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to be explaining how to clean your mini quad and larger quad motors. So if you guys race mini quads like me like this at f fast speeds or you're just racing big quads or just flying in general, um, every once in a while you will have a crash and you can either crash in like dirt or sand or cement or grass or something. But if you crash in the dirt and sand, one of the things that can happen is you can jam up a motor. So you can see here I got some dirt in there which makes it so when you turn on it just starts like going mad and turning like really hot and the same with this mini quad motor these are both old motors they used to use and what I thought when I first started was oh now I have to go out and buy a new mini quad or larger quad motor but that's not really the case so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your mini quad motors and larger quad motors so you can just have a much more fun time flying and not have to wait for long shipping costs from like Hobby King and stuff. So on your two common types of motors, you have your larger motor here and your mini quad motor here. Now on the bottom to take apart the motors, you can see this little, tiny little cap there. You'll need to take that off and I'll show you how to take that off in a minute. And then on this one, you have a tiny little bolt that you, that's pretty easy to take off if you have the right socket set. It really helps. So for the socket, this is a 4 millimeter socket. So just take this to the bottom, and let me just zoom in, there we go, and you're just going to want to unscrew this. Now it's pretty easy, they don't keep these on really tight, they don't lock tight them or anything. And then that bolt just comes off, you want to save that. So put that on like a safe place, so I'm just going to set it on my desk here. And then the motor, there's no magnets, in, there are magnets inside, but those just take a little bit of force to pull apart. So you can just take that and pull that apart. So now you can see there's all this gunk around those motors and stuff. And there's some in the bearings and in the winding there. So first thing you're going to want to do is take this and just like twist up your leads a little bit so you can have a good handle on them. Take your water and just soak it into the water for a second. And that will definitely help. So just push that around and stuff and you can see some of the dirt coming off. And set this on a paper towel. And here's the top part of it. You're going to just want to drop that into the water. Kind of mix around the water a little bit. Grab the motor. Pull it out. And you can even see this clean it out. Look at that. Now that's not all the way. So we're just going to leave those dry for a second. You can air dry. I would air dry some of the bearings and stuff. That can help. But this part here, you can just grab a paper towel and start just drying it. And that works pretty well. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So the one bad thing about dirt is it does turn in the mud when it does get wet. So that's why you want to get it out quite quickly. So I've dried these two parts. And now it's time to air dust them. So you take your air duster and you just go in and you air dust those parts. And take a little bit of your paper towel, make it quite thin, and just run that inside the motor for a fine clean tuning. And even if your motors don't crash, it's good to clean out gunk and stuff every once in a while. That can really help with the performance. So that top half's quite clean. As you can see here, there's almost no gunk at all. Maybe just a tiny bit of dirt, but we'll show you how to get rid of that rest of it in the last step. So you take this area here, and you want to blow this out with the air as well. Make sure to dry those bearings and spray some air down. Now, if you don't want to know what the bearings are on the motor, there are these little parts right... Let me grab a screwdriver. Right here. Those little silver rings that makes the motor spin and stuff. So, once that's all dry, we can basically just put this back together. That just snaps back together. And grab your screw. Put that on, take your socket or whatever else you use to take off that screw, and just tighten that, that back on. 
until it's tight. Now you don't want to over tighten it, but just make sure it's snug. Yep, there we go. So now that spins really freely. Like you can see there. That's very good. So that is our mini quad motor. Next we can move on to the larger motor. Okay guys, so now that we've finished our mini quad motor, let's move on to our large quad motors. The mini quad motors can take probably a little bit less time. The biggers are a little bit harder to deal with. So for this step you're going to want your plastic bag and you're not going to be able to use your socket for probably most ordinary motors. So you have this little C-clip here, and that's very hard to get off, and when you do get it off, it flies all over the place. It goes everywhere. And I've had to order a whole new motor because I've lost that before. So that's one of the issues with these motors. So that's why I use this plastic bag. You just open up the plastic bag, put the motor inside, and then what you're gonna wanna do is take a screwdriver and your fingers or anything else and try to pry that little C-clip off. Now you should just be able, if you look at it closely, it may be hard to see in this picture and video, but you can just start picking away at it and it should come off. Now you don't want to damage the bearings or anything like that because that can be really bad. So just keep picking that off. As you saw there, um, it finally came off. And it may be a little bit bent and dented and stuff because you had the pride off. Now make sure you keep this. You don't want to lose this. So put that in a safe place. And just like the other motor, it should just slowly pop apart when you pull it. Now this one may take a little bit more force since these are a lot bigger magnets. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Just pull that apart. And you can see how big those magnets are compared to the other ones. And here's the inside. So these are both relatively pretty dirty. You may not be able to see that. So it's pretty much from here the same steps on. Just dip it in water, run it around, put it back on the paper towel. Same with this. There we go. Now we can move our water to the side. And we can just hand dry these. See here, maybe, in those bearings there, if you're really careful, you can scratch out that dirt. So just use a small screwdriver and start just scratching out the dirt. Now you don't want to push really hard and um, bent those bearings or something, or damage those bearings, because that would be really bad. And you may have to buy a new motor or just get new bearings. So once you get most of that gunk out, that can really help. And then hand dry this top part. Just gonna put this up in here. Okay. And dry the rest. Now we're going to air dry these. That's good. Makes like a whistling noise. There we go guys. So there's that. Now your motor should just pop back together. Be careful you don't pinch your fingers because these magnets are quite powerful. So just push on the bottom and that will just snap back together. Now you do need to put the C-clip back on or else during flight if your motor is, if your propeller is big enough it can just pull the motor right apart again. I'm not, I'm not sure how likely that will happen in flight but that can definitely happen and you want to be careful of that. So that's why you want to put the C-clip back on. So the C-clip is bent, so you're going to want to re-bend that back in the shape so it's completely flat. So just take your needle nose pliers and just start squeezing that back in the shape. So it shouldn't take too long. There we go, there's one side, there's the other. So now you have your C-clip back in shape here. and. You don't have to use your plastic bag. It can sometimes happen where it will fly away. Right here, I'm not going to, but I would maybe, if you guys have never done this before, maybe just keep it in the bag. The bag can make it a little bit frustrating because um, it can make it hard to see when the bag gets foggy. 
but if you're just take some time to do this now you don't want to rush through this but just take some time to do these steps and you'll have a great running motor again so just start kind of to squish this back on top and you should hear a click yep right there so that clicked you just want to take your screwdriver and push it on a little bit yep I heard a second small click and now this is completely on now this isn't going to fall off in flight no matter how hard this propeller pulls now your motors this motor is done and this mini quad motor is done and these will run perfectly great so guys I would like to thank you guys for watching and I hope I helped you out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and maybe um, subscribe and share this thanks see you in the next one